I'm Paul Glashew. I'm a general practice researcher from Bond University on the east coast of Australia. Show more spine means um, show more backbone in, in trying to counter overdiagnosis and to stand up to the pressure from um, vested groups uh, trying to push a particular definition of disease, particular treatments. I think the main thing is, as I say, there are different areas and I see the definitions of disease as being the biggest problem. Um, so for your campaign, What's the definition of osteoporosis? What's the disease we're actually trying to treat? That's a, osteoporosis is just one risk factor for fractures. And it's been largely defined in terms of a healthy 25 year old, as has chronic kidney disease and other conditions where we think everybody's got to stay young forever. Um, and we just, we haven't adapted to the, um, our definitions of diseases to what would seem like reasonable, healthy, normal aging. So the biggest thing I'm doing, I think, is trying to set up standards for the way that we define diseases, working with the Guidelines International Network to do that. I have to say I'm concerned with it all because of uh, my general practice background. So um, we've, uh, we've particularly been working in the area of cancer overdiagnosis, cardiovascular overdiagnosis and a few other areas. But um, you know, the more you look, the more you find that this is a huge and growing problem. Well, so there's different types of overdiagnosis. The cancer overdiagnosis is largely overdetection. That is, we're detecting things that would never harm people in their lifetime. They're basically um, indolent, slow-growing, or non-progressive lesions, and that's clearest in thyroid cancer, where you see tripling in many countries, and in South Korea, a 15-fold increase with no change in mortality. Um, so that was one of the things I was speaking about as well, was the, the potential pool of cases that you can detect that would actually never do anything to people in their lifetime. These are harmless things that we've in a sense misidentified as being cancers in the sense of an aggressive thing that's going to kill you.